Today we are making Christmas decorations using science, specifically a super saturated solution of borax. Very cool, let's go. A couple of weeks ago, I made a full episode on how to make borax crystals. And if you wanna go check it out, you can go check it out up here. But today I wanna do a focus on how to make Christmas decorations using science. And we're gonna follow the same procedures of making that super saturated solution, but focusing a little bit less on the science and a little bit more on how to make really cool Christmas ornaments that are made out of crystals. They look amazing and your kids will love to make them with you. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk you through how to make this and it'll be nice and fun. All you need is a few ingredients. One, you need borax. Two, you need some hot water. As close to boiling as possible is great, so make sure you have parental supervision doing this. And then some pipe cleaner. That's really all that you need. So in order to do this, you need to make a shape that your Christmas ornament is going to be in. So for me, I'm going to make a nice star, I think. This is about as basic as you can get for a Christmas ornament, but you can go as complicated as you want. And I've made some cool little like reindeer and some other things too we'll cover it later on. Once you've made your shape that you want your final product to look like, just hook it onto a popsicle stick. Or it doesn't have to be a popsicle stick, it could be a spoon. It just needs to be something that can go over top of a container. So I'm going to hook it on to popsicle stick and drop it in. Now there's nothing inside of this jar as of yet, and you don't need one quite this big, but eh, why not? So once you have it hooked on your pipe cleaner, set that aside. Next, you're going to want to pour some hot, hot water into the container that you want to grow your crystals into. So I'm just going to pour some nice hot water into this mason jar. Next, you need some borax. So I have some borax here. I'm not gonna tell you the exact amount that you need to put in. It's approximately two to three tablespoons per cup of hot water that you put, that you have in your container. But you don't really need to measure it out. All you need to do is pour in some borax and then stir it until it dissolves, until the water gets clear. Now, this can take a little bit of time and if it all dissolves, you just add more borax. Keep adding until no more can be dissolved. That's when you get a super saturated solution. All of my borax dissolved, so I'm just gonna add some more and keep stirring. I'm fairly confident now that I can't add any more borax to this solution without having more just settle to the bottom. Nothing more will be dissolved inside of this container. So now we have a super saturated solution. At this point, you can add some food color. So I'm just gonna add some food coloring. It's not going to affect the final product, but it is kind of cool if you're making this with some kids to add in some nice colors. That just makes it a little bit more engaging. So I'll add some food coloring. We'll make this a nice blue. There we go. Next step, and this is actually the last step, is to add in your already made Christmas decoration. When you place your pipe cleaner creation inside the solution of borax and water, you want it to be fully submerged under the water, but not touching the bottom or the sides. Other than that, now it's just a waiting game. Now this is so cool because now we get to see as the temperature of the water cools, suddenly the cooler temperatures of the liquid can't hold as much borax in solution. So the borax has to go somewhere and it goes onto that pipe cleaner in the form of very cool crystals. Let's take a look at a few of the ones that I've made. And depending how long you leave your pipe cleaner in the solution will depend on how many crystals grow on your decoration. Let's take a look at some of the ones that I've made with my kids. First off, I want to show you the difference of leaving them in solution for longer. So this pipe cleaner, I just twisted into a form of a candy cane. I only left this one in for two hours. And in two hours, you can see some very cool crystals formed on the pipe cleaner. It kind of gives it a frosted effect. 
This one was in there for six hours, the exact same pipe cleaner in the same solution, in the same jar even. But you can see after six hours, the crystals have kind of overtaken everything and it just turned into a mass of crystals itself. Very cool, but just a different effect. If you want to shake it up, you can just put some pom-poms in your creation. My daughter made a very cool uh, snowman creation just by sticking some pipe cleaners through pom-poms and the colors come through the crystals. This I took out after about four hours. And then finally we have Rudolph. This one I think turned out the best. You can glue on some googly eyes after and hang it on the Christmas tree. One extra step that you might want to do if you want to keep these year after year after year is to coat them in some sort of protective layer. Clear nail polish works excellent. Uh, Mod Podge, maybe if you have some craft supplies or uh, different types of clear sealant. Then they last, you can put them in your, with your Christmas decorations and use them year after year after year as I'm sure these will come out for our family. Thanks for watching, I'm Jonathan Allers with Destructive Creativity. See you next time. Bye!